Hello, I'm David Minson with the Mended Collective, and we're talking about inspiring women of Scripture. In today's discussion, we're going to talk about Abigail. We read about Abigail in the book of 1 Samuel, and today we're going to talk about four things that I find inspiring about Abigail. I hope you enjoy our study. first thing I find inspiring about Abigail is that she shared her food. And the reason this is so inspiring is tied to the story of her being married to a man named Nabal. The Bible tells us he was a very foolish man. Nabal was a successful man. He had plenty. And David and his companions were in exile, living in the wilderness, and were in great need. And they protected Nabal's flocks while Nabal's workers were shearing the sheep. And during that time of protection, David and his men had a great need for food. And he sent word to Nabal asking for relief for just a little bit of food to feed them as they were hungry. According to Moses' law, Nabal under those circumstances would be required to share from his abundance with David to help feed David and his men. But he foolishly refused to do so law had been broken. Nabal made his household to act in a way that was selfish and Abigail had to set this right and so she did just that. She gathered up a great supply of food and shared from their bounty plenty to feed David and his men and I find that example of sharing and kindness to be very inspiring. The second thing that I find so inspiring about Abigail is her fortitude. When David had received word of Nabal's refusal to help them, David became very angry and he was bent on revenge. He and his men were on their way to Nabal's household and they had killing on their mind. And against such treachery and such danger, Abigail, with great courage, went out and met David. She had a lot of fortitude. She humbled herself before David and admitted her husband's mistake and set out to make things right. But in doing that, she put her life at risk because David was so angry and had intentions of killing people of Nabal's household. But she was determined to set right what Nabal had done wrong and do the right thing before God, which in this case took great fortitude. And I find that very inspiring. The third thing that I find inspiring about Abigail is the way that her heart cherished and sought forgiveness. Nabal had done wrong against David. And Abigail, in coming before David with the gift of food supplies, asked David for forgiveness. She hadn't even done the wrong. She was doing the right thing. But she asked that her husband's sin be put upon her and that David would forgive her as though she was the one that had done the wrong. This is great humility, but it also shows that she had a heart that cherished the value and blessing of forgiveness. And I find that heart in Abigail very inspiring. The fourth thing I find inspiring about Abigail is her frankness. Nabal wasn't the only character in this story that was doing wrong. David was doing wrong. He was thinking and planning and acting to take revenge into his own hands. And the law taught, as the New Testament teaches us today, that revenge belongs to God. It wasn't right for David to be headed so angrily towards Nabal's household with plans of seeking revenge. And Abigail knew that. And as she brought David food and did the kindness that she did and sought forgiveness, she also was very frank with David and confronted him about his quest for revenge and gently yet boldly explained to him that he was wrong. What a courageous woman. What a godly woman. What an inspiring woman in her frankness with David. I hope you've enjoyed our discussion of four things that I find so very inspiring about Abigail, this great woman of Scripture. I hope you've enjoyed our other discussions about inspiring women of Scripture. 
If you haven't listened to the others, please come back to the Minute Collective and look for these and other videos on Inspiring Women of Scripture.